everyone, it's Miss Amy, and I am sitting outside of the library with the library um, in view in the back, and I wanted to do some book talks. Uh, we, for a summer reading program, we have been doing uh, different continents and for Imagine Your Story this year, and this, year, uh, this week we went to Europe, so I want to share um, some stories first. So I'm going to do a couple of just quick book talks. So this is one of my favorite um, books uh, that uh, with Greek myths. This is De Dolaire's uh, book of Greek myths and it um, Greece is uh, a European country and it is just a really cool collection of um, all kinds of traditional Greek um, Greek myths. So um, I love that. Ireland is also in uh, Europe and this book, Irish Myths and Legends Retold by Ida Daly um, and illustrated by B. Wiley, this is a collection of all kinds of Irish folk tales and fairy tales. So um, Ireland is again in Europe. Um, then the Brothers Grimm, all the stories that we know from Hansel and Gretel to the Three Little Pigs, the Frog King, uh, Cinderella, they all come from Europe and the Brothers Grimm. Uh, so they are all tales um, and this is a huge collection of them and we have lots of different versions of them that are illustrated by different um, illustrators and stuff but uh, we uh, it's pretty cool that um, we actually got a lot um, from European countries here in the States so um, this story uh, is about um, this is Matilda Bone by Karen Cushman and Matilda is a, a girl in medieval England who was um, who was raised by monks and then she gets apprenticed out to uh, peg the bone setter in a seedy part of town, uh, but the bone setter was kind of the doctor. It was who you went if you had ail to if you had ailments, or you broke a bone, or you sprained something, or whatever. You went uh, to her, and um, this uh, girl, it, Matilda, is practicing or apprenticing with um, Peg, and she's learning the trade and it's so different from her life in the monastery um, being raised by um, the priests. So uh, this story is the wolf Wilder and this story is set in Russia which we learned today is a transcontinental um, country. It is partially in Europe and it is partially in Asia. So it's a Eurasia, a Eurasian, a Eurasia, I guess that's how you say it, um, country. Um, and I guess there are others that are kind of on the, the, the cross continental lines. So this is about uh, a tradition, an old tradition of keeping wolf pups so capturing wolf pups in the wild and then bringing them in only the wealthy czars and emperors and stuff used to have them and uh, they would keep them as like ornaments or pets um, to, because they were pretty and they were powerful and they represented um, that and when they would start being wild uh, as they grew up or they bit someone or they um, you know ripped or ruined something then they would turn them over to a wolf wilder in that was someone in the wilderness they were kind of like a witch but they weren't witches but they were um, people who could would um, kind of teach the wolves how to be wild again and how to survive out in the wilderness in Russia again even though they had been raised in um, fancy homes 
to be ornaments. So um, this is a wonderful, uh, wonderful story. I loved that story. Um, the last one that I'm going to share is a favorite of mine. So this book is super special because The Invention of Hugo Cabret was the very first, very first um, children's chapter book to win the Caldecott Award for the best illustrations because that's what the Caldecott is, is for unique illustrations. So in this story, uh, the illustrations tell as much of the tale as the text does. You can't skip a page. It is like uh, watching a silent film and then having subtext or things to fill in the blanks. Um, this is an incredible story um, by Brian Selznick and he has uh, three other chapter books but they're all set in different places. But Hugo Cabret is set in, um, in, in the train station in France. So um, really incredible. It's about the uh, automatons and uh, the mechanical um, workings and this um, little boy who lives in the back of a clock. Uh, so check these out in the library. Happy summer reading program. Have a wonderful day. Happy reading. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy.